mascara. Yes. <laughs> this isn't scripted. Okay, I'm not gonna eat off of this until you clean it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Well, I'm not cleaning it. Another free tip by Dustin Dean. Don't argue with the wife. <laughs> Turkey, turkey! Why are you hiding from me? Okay, guys, this is super easy. Take turkey. Oh, I lied. It's not easy. Super easy. Take turkey. Put it in bucket. Turkey in bucket. One cup of sugar on turkey. Take your. Oh. Real salt. Guys, uh, for those of you who are just turning in to, we went and toured a mine yesterday. Just so we could show you this today. Uh, this salt is mined deep into the earth. Utah, Redmond, uh, natural before uh, Rocket Man had a chance to uh, pollute the oceans and shooting his little rockets into the ocean. We, uh, this stuff untouched from human idiocracy. So you just do one cup. So one cup of that and just sprinkle that on there. Now let's go fill it up with water. Okay, we've got one cup of sugar, one cup of um, real salt, sea salt, and we put just enough water in here. This is a big, this is a 20 pound bird. And uh, so the water line's about right here, that's to the top of the bird. And we, uh, Put the uh, lid on, and that's it. We'll just leave this sitting right here, right next to the grill, and um, tomorrow morning, Thanksgiving, my favorite day of the year, we're gonna put the bird in the nice clean grill with firewood. Oh, we had a good time doing it. Okay, it is Thanksgiving morning. Um, we just come out here and check on our turkey. Turkey's in the bucket, sitting in the brine. The brine. Um, so we need to start the fire now. Mm -hmm. Got to start the fire now. Okay, we've got our fire going. Um, why our why our fire is uh, is we're getting coals for a fire. Why that's going? We're going to go ahead and season the turkey, and I'll show you how we season our turkey here at the Dean Homestead. Okay, we have about a half a cup-ish. Yep, ish. A little less. It was about half a cup. Get the ashes out of the bowl, <laughs> and so, and then we take our our uh, yeah. real salt. which I believe is so much more healthier for you. Hold on, don't pour it yet. So we, so we have our... So we put our real salt. I just kind of want to show you guys this. I don't know if I ever pointed this out. But you can see like the different colors into it. That's um... Minerals. That's minerals. Minerals and and uh, natural stuff that you get from your salt. Mm -hmm. So it's healthier for you than normal salt. Yeah. And and I keep saying real salt is that's the name of the company, real salt. Okay. Then you just put that in together, mix it up, 
It's a 50-50 mix of pepper and salt. Look how beautiful that is. There you go. And there's the turkey. Okay, we have our our sea salt from Redmond, Utah. Isn't that that's pretty cool? Sea salt from Utah. I just can't get over that. Probably why I talk about it so much. Um, I I just use my hands. Just um, I do pretty liberally. Um, I use quite a bit. Um, I try to get every nook and cranny. Um, and throw a little bit up the cavity for extra flavoring. I learned I learned a long time ago. I used to be really big into making my own um, seasonings and I found I just do the kiss method, keep it simple silly and Salt and peppers is just about as simple as you're going to get with your um, seasoning, and it's delicious. I actually love it, just keeping it simple, salt and pepper, um, but not just any kind of salt, real salt. It just tastes better. It's organic. It's healthy for you. Kim Jong-un rocket man hasn't had a chance to deplute it with his shooting his rockets into the sea. Cause this has got mine deep into the earth, so I think I think I've got it. Okay, so I kind of cheat a little bit. This this makes outdoor cooking so simple. Um, these aren't very expensive. Uh, it's Ready Check Smoker. You get them online. I forgot what I paid for this. It was how much do you think? It was like twenty five dollars. Twenty five thirty bucks. Not bad. Um, this part I'll keep in the house by the Lazy Boy and it has an alarm if the temperature gets drops down to uh, too cold in here if it gets too hot alarm will go off um, that's that sensor will tell me that temperature this other sensor here will tell me the temperature inside the bird another tip by Dustin Dean when smoking meat it's it's better to not have a whole bunch of smoke coming out of the stack um, it, there's what we call a blue smoke. It's kind of hard to see, but you can, if you can feel heat coming out and you're cooking with 100% firewood, your bird is getting smoked. So trying to wet it and, and, and uh, really get the smoke barreling out, you're going to ruin the flavor of the meat. It's just going to taste like an ashtray. We don't like ashtrays. So, at this point, nothing left to do than start cooking. We've got the fire just perfect. Just set it in there. We're done, except we haven't hooked this up. Okay, so we've got our ready check, almost ready. Um, this part goes into the bird, but we're going to leave that out. This part will just sit on the um, smoker. It'll tell us then the internal temps of the smoker. So we'll just kind of lay that, just lay that on the grill, and we'll sit here and babysit this and dial in. I've got three um, temperature gauges plus a fourth temperature gauge on this. So far we're up to 96 degrees, and we'll get it up to. Um, I don't know, 250, get up to about 250 degrees. We'll cook it there for a couple of hours, get that smoke into the bird. Then we'll um, wrap it and excel the heat, cook it faster, we'll be done. So the temperature is... Uh, 285. So at this point, we start moving levers. Um, 
controlling the heat from the chimney and down below. I about forgot. I'm in my church clothes. Another tip from Dustin Dean. Be sure to protect your church clothes wearing a cooking apron. Just wanted to point this out really quick. It is smoking. This is ideal right here. It is the stack. You don't see any smoke coming out of there. That's perfect. What? Put your hand here. That's hot. That's too hot for me to touch. If, there, if you're using 100% wood, if it's hot, it's smoking. You just don't see it. Okay, the bird has been in the smoker for a little over an hour now. Um, I've got my helper out here, Brody. Say hi. Hi. He wanted so bad to be on TV. He loves being behind the camera. He's a ham. And um, so let's check it out. Ooh. Ooh la la. It's looking good, isn't it, bud? Mm-hmm. We're looking at the color. I think it's just about ready to uh, wrap in tin foil. Um, it's got a nice dark color, goldish, and kind of a, I know I shouldn't experiment on Thanksgiving Day, but kind of my experiment is, is normally I just set the turkey right on the grill, but this year my idea is I don't need to smoke the bottom of the turkey because we don't eat that part. We eat the sides and the top. So the smoke will get on the top and the sides of the bird, the part that we eat, and the juices from the bird will uh, evaporate, keeping the bird moist. Usually, right here, I have um, a pan I put water on, uh, but I chose not to do that. Again, it's an experiment. It's the, it's the first time I'm doing this, so hopefully this turns out. I'm either going to be a hero or a loser on Thanksgiving Day. So I hope this works out. Yeah, so what do you think? Should we, should we wrap it? Um, should we wrap it in tin foil? Yeah. Yes. The little cook says yes, we shall wrap it in tin foil. Okay, my lovely assistant has wrapped it for me. For some reason, I am not very good at wrapping. Christmas time is a nightmare for me. It's always good to have, I know we have one um, thermometer. It's always good to have an extra one too. As you know, I like uh, temperature gauges. I have four on here, so I have plenty of thermometers. Get a good one too. Another tip from Dustin Dane. <laughs> So the turkey's done at 165. We went 175 because we're weird. We like a little bit drier turkey. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. That perfect dark color. That's what you're looking for. Please don't drop it. Please don't drop it. Please don't drop it. Please don't drop it. This tastes as good as it looks. We're all in for a surprise. Wait, that's yeah. wrong. <laughs> Guys, this looks good enough to eat. From our family to your family, Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving!